Well, I know this, and anyone who's ever tried to live knows this. So what you say about somebody else, you know, anybody else, reveals you. What I think of you as being is dictated by my own necessities, my own psychology, my own um, fears and desires. I'm not describing you when I talk about you. I'm describing me. Now, here in this country, we've got something called a nigger. It doesn't, in such terms, I beg you to remark, exist in any other country in the world. We have invented the nigger. I didn't invent him. White people invented him. I've always known, I had to know by the time I was 17 years old, what you were describing was not me, and what you were afraid of was not me. It had to be something else. You had invented it, so it had to be something you were afraid of, and you invested me with. Now, if that's so, no matter what you've done to me, I can say to you this, and I mean it. I know you can't do any more, and I've got nothing to lose. And I know, and I've always known, you know, and really always, that's part of the agony. I've always known that I'm not a nigger. But if I am not the nigger, and if it's true that your invention reveals you, then who is the nigger? I'm not the victim here. I know one thing from another. I know I'm going to born and I'm I'm going to be, you know, I was born, I'm going to suffer, and I'm going to die. And the only way you get through a life is to know the worst things about it. I know that a person is more important than anything else. Anything else. I learned this because I've had to learn it. But you still think, I gather, that the nigger is necessary. Well, it's unnecessary to me, so it must be necessary to you. I give you your problem back. You're the nigger, baby, isn't me.